Easter Egg Artist with Arlene Adams. Easter Egg Artist with Arlene Adams. There are abbots and there are abbots. These abbots are rabbits. The rabbit abbots make designs for on Easter eggs. Their son Orson thought it would be great to be an artist too. He was going to help the eggs next Easter. Father Abbot looked at the picture Orson had made him to show he could do. Well, said to Mother Abbot, it's not bad for five minutes work, but look at him, look out there, he's forgotten all about it. Remember, he's still younger and still needs to play, said Mother Abbot. Here's what I mean, he may not be much help. The Abbots ordered 100 dozen eggs to be delivered in January. He might be good back in vacation by then. Father Abbot said it will be plenty of time to finish painting the eggs by Easter. It is already October. We should leave as soon as we've got another cold weather comes. First, the car needs painting, said Father Abbot. Not the whole thing, Orson said. Just the rusty parts. I'll do it. Then Swing Grin, father said, well, look at us. Let's make a car trail to look at the Easter eggs. Good idea, said Father Abbott. They'll work together covering the rest of the spots with their special designs. Then the Abbots went on the trip. They looked along everywhere and they could find cramping in their paints and brushes too, just in case. Wow, Orson and father said, people really like the way we painted the car. Everybody's looking, Dad. How do you like to make purple, red, and blue together? Right, said Father Abbott, fasten your seatbelt. And the Abbots drove south, looking for the nice weather, a good place to set up camp. At last, they reached a warm sea. Orson never seen so much water. They set up camp in Long Beach. Orson wore his red belt. He galloped up in the sand. Smashed in the sea, mother and father abbot drew portraits and everyone was wanting to play for them. When the abbots had enough to say that, they went traveling again. Just poking around, people were always offering them jobs because of the beautiful designs in the car and trailer. They even decorated the outside of the entire house. Orson did all the high parts. It was easy for them to keep his balance and off the roof. He liked this group and over the trees. A plan advertised the country fair puzzled the house. The pilot landed and came back with a closer hulk. Well, naturally, he wanted his plane decorated. Oh, wow, Orson yelled. Hmm, Father Abbott, you shouldn't be decorations at the bottom. People look up the plane, top and bottom. I do acrobats. What's that? I make pain tumble over and over the sky. Orson shivered the delight. He worked hard, decorated the plane. Maybe the pilot would make him fun as designs he did. Orson, the pilot, cried over the abbot's cramp. Orson has really changed, keeping his mind on his work until he finished. He's growing up fast. It helped people know and enjoy it. It seems to work that way, but when you're town shopping this afternoon, you were reluctant to decorate the bridge over the river. Orson spoke right up when he'd been slabbed and there's way home all by himself. Fine, Mother Abbott. It'll be fun just watching for a change. Everybody came to watch. Orson loved that he was busy for a long time. He never got tired. It was January when he finished and the Abbots had to hurry along sprawling painting Easter eggs. Would Orson be able to settle down work in the studio after it was happening? He interested in painting Easter eggs. 100 dozen father eggs at Asim himself, 1,200 eggs, 600 piece. You have to do them well without Orson's help. The eggs were all the abbots got home. Goose eggs, eggs, chicken eggs, ostrich eggs too. It was the ostrich eggs that got Orson's interest. He tried one and another one. Soon he was working so hard that he worked for the bridge. He was having a wonderful time because... He had invented some Easter eggs. People wanted to buy them faster he could paint them. His parents finally had to start helping to keep up with the orders. Father Abbott was on the telephone ordering more eggs and more orders. Orson was laughing. Whoever finds this is going to get shocked, he shouted. Each came at last and the orders had been filled. Chipped out eggs were left to Abbott's annual Easter egg hunt. 
The little rabbits and neighbor were eager, waiting, and the rabbits, all three of them, hid their eggs the night before for a flashlight. Next morning, mother and father Abbott were tired and sleepy, but not Orson. He hit, was up there climbing into the tree. He could watch them little ones hunt the eggs. His parents couldn't resist. They had to get up and look out the window at once. Well, was the father Abbott could say. The mother Abbott smiled sleepily. During the day, spring grew warm. Mother and father Abbott were taking an uh, easy outdoors. Where's Orson? Mother, I wondered. He was working on something in the studio a while ago. Father Abbott, but no time we might now. Orson Abbott and Easter Eggs mother said, Yes, Father Abbott, the car artist and the host artist, airplane and bridge. But don't look down, mother said. But flagpole too. 